Six bombshells were dropped at Fitzy and Whipper's Married at First Sight dinner party. What were they? Dom's new tattoo, Brent and Tamara's current relationship status, Brent and Ella's relationship status. Did they fool around, didn't they? Holly's new relationship, Jack's feelings towards Olivia, and finally, Al's post-show plans. Now, let's get into it. Jack and Al, Holly and Brent, Matt, Ella and Selena, how the hell are you been? Going through the names, Olivia's not ticked, or is she out the front trying to show a couple more pics? Matt's <laughs> madness! Rachel, you set this for us. Hello, fellow couch potatoes. Welcome to my channel. Let's get to today's video. Half of the cast of Married at First Sight reunited in Sydney on Thursday night for Fitzy and Whooper's explosive Mavs dinner party. Dominica, Jack, Ella, Brent, Al, Selena, Matt, and Holly all attended the exclusive event alongside a handful of mega fans who had the opportunity to ask their own juicy honesty box questions for the stars to answer. Here are all the biggest bombshells that were dropped on the night. First up, Ella and Brent's romance. It's been long speculated that Ella and Brent have recoupled since filming Wrapped with the pair even being photographed at the beach on Valentine's Day. When asked if there were ever any romantic vibes during filming, both stars admitted that their relationship was purely platonic on the show. We were focusing on our relationships only, but I will say something now. If there's any woman in the world that you'd want as your partner, you'd want Ella. Oh, well said! Brent, we couldn't agree with you more. Ella also added to the convo, saying, on the experiment, they didn't really get to know each other on that deep level. Um, in the experiment, we didn't really get to know each other on that deep level. We were there just focusing on our partners. The second bombshell was pertaining to Brent and Tamara's current relationship status. The big question being whether they had any contact since the end of their relationship at Final Vows. And this is what Brent had to say. Uh, Tamara reached out to me as the show started airing. Yes. We did uh, try to be amicable and do interviews together. And it took about two weeks before Tamara went on a downhill spiral and I cut all ties. The next bombshell was Dominica's tattoo. Dom confirmed at the event that she recently got a new tattoo of a broken wine glass on her right arm. However, she explained that it represents more than just the incident on the couple's retreat. From the oh! night. I do, but I want to explain the reason why I got the broken wine glass. And okay. it's not particularly what everyone thinks. Obviously. Obviously, <laughs> carnage mayhem, yes, but I think it represents a lot more than that to me. It okay. represents that everyone is damaged goods at, to some point and to some extent. And for me, I think it just represents that, you know, we all have our sore points and we all have a limit to what we can take. And, you know, sometimes we, we crack and we break and that's okay because we're human. Next bombshell dropped was Jack's feelings towards Olivia. A mega fan of the show wanted to know if Jack has forgiven Olivia for her behavior and this is what Jack had to say. Um, in terms of forgiveness, I can uh, definitely say the fact that there was never a sorry or accountability behind yeah. it. Mm. Can't forgive someone if someone does not feel remorse. I 100% agree. A follow-up question to Jack's response was then asked. The inquiry was if Jack has seen Olivia since filming had wrapped, and this is what Jack had shared. Yeah, I did see her once, very recently. How at, was that? Um, it was a quick little encounter. She was at an event that I was at. I basically just said to her, I was like, look, all the best to you. I don't agree with anything you said on the show. But honestly, if I was you, I'd probably hold, you know, when you're doing your media, when you're doing your uh, radios, you know, own up to the things that you did. Now that's great advice from Jack. Wouldn't you agree, Couch Potatoes? The next bombshell, Holly revealing that she has a new boyfriend. Things might not have ended well between Holly and Andrew on the show, but Holly has revealed that she is now very happy in a new relationship and it's with someone she knew. I had known him before. I literally bumped into him. I was walking to Melbourne Club lunch actually with a girlfriend and he was like, oh, hey, I remember you. 
That was just before the show aired. Al did a shui at the dinner party. Shui, 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 shui. on Al is his post-show plans. Talent management companies and casting producers in the UK were keen to snap up Al as soon as the season wrapped up and he is out of contract. And now it seems like Al is keen to take up the offer when he spoke about his plans after the show. Al said this time next year Brent and Al will be overseas. There are a few things in the works but you'll see soon. I will definitely be tuned to watch the duo. What shows do you think they will appear on Couch Potatoes? Will it be another reality TV show? Or what kind of show do you think is best suited for Al? Let's chat in the comment section below. All right, here we go. Here we go. What's up? It's Al, and I love to dance. Watch me worm my way into your pants. Oh! I love a shoey. I'll do it with bravado. I'm like a completely less successful version of Daniel Ricardo. Oh! I'm a mama's boy, just ask me. I get my cooking, cleaning done for free. Ladies, I'll probably live at home until I'm 40. I only want a mouse because I thought they could air my dirty laundry. Oh! Oh, really good, really good. Oh! Here we go. Gang, gang. Go. Bon Jono, it's Jack. I think love is a gift. You insult my wife, I'll slap you like Will oh! Smith.